I'm always looking for different ways to improve my editing, making it more immersive, fun to watch, and most importantly, stand out. So I'm going to demonstrate what it looks like to take an engaging, talking, custom-built video incorporated in a fully cinematic 3D environment. This makes for something that is both super practical to use, but also insanely fun to watch. We have some breaking news. New York has been violently bombed. Multiple locations have been hit. On North Street, there is a 1999 Civic filled with explosives. When will this end? When will the president realize what he's done? So we'll start off by taking any clip you want and adding realistic lip syncing and face tracking to it. Then we'll bring it inside of DaVinci Resolve and transform it into an immersive 3D animation. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment so I can continue to bring you guys value. So the website that actually allows us to do this is called Sync. I linked it in the description as well as all the assets I used in this video. This tool specializes in lip syncing and emotion. You can add any voice in any tone and pick whatever emotion you want based on the video you're editing. To use this, it's pretty easy. We're just going to click new project and then we can name it something. Now up here I'm going to select advanced. As you can see down here is our timeline and over here we have the assets and voice generator. So we just need a clip to drag and drop into here. So I'm going to go to YouTube and screen record something similar to what I want. As you saw in the intro I just grabbed a clip of the Queen of England. So now that we have this uploaded here, we can click on the voice tab. And there's already a bunch of preloaded voices from Eleven Labs, which I've mentioned on this channel before. You can also clone your voice or someone else's voice. You just need to upload some audio to do that. In the example I used in the intro, I just use a British woman's voice, something that would kind of match the Queen of England. Once you have your audio clip generated, you can press insert, or if you have an audio clip from somewhere else, like a YouTube video, we can drag it in underneath the video here. Now, before we hit this blue button and generate the video, we're gonna click on this gear icon just above it here. Now, you're definitely gonna wanna select the model as React. As you can see, we have three tabs here. One is for the head, one is for the face, and one is for the lips. You can increase or decrease the temperature on each one. After we select React, you'll see that this little face pops up in the corner here. If we click this, it allows us to choose any emotion we want. Neutral, surprised, angry, disgusted, sad, happy. And if you play around with these, you'll notice that they actually work very well. My example, it was kind of like a breaking news of explosions in New York, so I just chose surprised. We can click on this blue button now and it will generate their video. Within 30 seconds, everything is that much more engaging to watch. All right, now we're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve. Before that, I'm gonna put on some Minecraft music. I recommend you do the same. It'll make you transcendent. So here in DaVinci, I'm just going to drag on a Fusion composition clip. Then we're gonna go to the Fusion tab. I'm gonna hit Shift Space and add in a Merge 3D and then a Render. 3D. And we're going to connect that to the media out. Now we're going to add in a camera 3D and connect it to the merge 3D. I'm going to drag in my first 3D asset, which is a TV. All the assets are below. And we're going to connect this to the merge. Now I'm going to click this button for two viewers up here. Drag this merge node over here so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to select the 3D TV node right here. And we're just going to scale it all the way down 0 0.004 probably. I'm going to select my camera and drag it back just like this and up like that. Now I'm going to select the render node. I'm going to select the render type to hardware render, enable lighting and shadows. I'm going to hit shift space and add in a spotlight. We're gonna connect this to the merge node just like this. I'm going to hit the transform and I'm going to set the rotation to minus 80. Now here's our light as you can see. So we can just drag this up like this and you'll see that our TV becomes visible because the light is shining on it. I'm going to select the controls I'm going to drag up this angle like this so it's softer light. Now, I also downloaded this metal picture. It's just a PNG off of Canva. And I'm going to connect this to the TV. It just gives our TV some metal texture so it looks like a metal TV. Quickly just readjust my lighting. Now I'm going to drag in my second 3D asset. Drag this and connect it to the merge node. Again, I'm going to select transform and turn the scale all the way down. Now in our 3D viewer here, we can see the desk. So we're just going to select our TV and drag it up on top of this desk, just like this. Now we can take our camera and drag it up as well. Now, as you can see, this lighting looks a little bit weird. So we're gonna select this spotlight, go to controls, increase the cone angle so it's a bigger light. We can also decrease the intensity a little bit. Again, I just downloaded a wood PNG off of Canva. So we'll drag that in and connect it to our desk. And it's going to texture it just like that. Now I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to place the TV more towards the front of the desk. I'm going to drag in a 3D lamp just like this and connect it to the merge. Go to transform and scale it all the way down. I'm just gonna place it beside the TV and then I'm gonna rotate it this way. So it's kind of like that. Here's a silver texture, just a silver PNG and I'm gonna connect that to the lamp. 
Now I'm going to add in another spotlight and place it just under this lamp so it looks like the lamp is on. So I'm going to hit shift space and search spotlight. Before I connect it, I'm just going to position it. So I'm going to go to transform rotation to minus 90. So it's facing straight down. I'm just going to place it right inside this lamp. Now we can connect it to the merge. As you can see, it's just a little tiny circle. So we're going to go to controls and increase the angle quite a bit and then increase this angle. So it's softer light. Something like that should be good for now. now I'm going to drag in our MP4 video of our talking person and we're going to connect an image plane 3D to this. Now I'm going to drag this image plane into the viewer. So all we can see is the image here. And as you can see, I want to crop these ends to fit this TV. So I'm going to select it, hit shift space and add in a crop. Now we can crop this image to be a little bit more square so it fits in the TV. Something like that should be good. So now I'm going to select this image plane and connect it to the merge. Now I'm going to drag this merge into the viewer just so that we're viewing everything. We can go to transform and scale down the video and we can just place this in front of the TV. Something like that should be good. Now it looks a little bit dark because the lighting isn't shining on it directly. So what we can do with the image plane selected is come to controls and then under lighting, we can uh, check off this box affected by lights and that way it's not affected by the lights. So it's just automatically bright. Now here's another 3D object of a chair. So we'll just drag that in and connect it to the merge. We can size it all the way down and then we can bring it over here and rotate it this way, make it slightly smaller. And then we can just kind of place it to the side here under the table. Something like that should be good. Here's just another picture of wood I downloaded off Canva and we're going to connect this to the chair and now it's textured like that. So now I'm going to select my camera and I'm going to position it where I kind of want the scene to start before we put in the background here. So I'm going to rotate the Y axis just like this and zoom back a little bit just like this. Now I'm going to hit shift space and add in a shape 3D. This is going to be our wall. So I'm going to connect this to the merge and as you can see it's just like a flat plane. So we can drag this back and size it all the way up pretty much. Under transform, I'm going to rotate the Y axis, put it at a bit of an angle like this. Now I downloaded an image like this. You can really choose whatever image you want because it's not going to be super visible. I'm just going to drag that in here and connect it to our 3D plane. And as you can see in our media out, you can't see the background yet because there's no light on it. So I'm going to add in a directional light and we're going to connect that to the merge. As you can see, everything is lit up. So we're just going to turn down the intensity quite a bit. You can also change the color. This really affects how the scene ends up looking. I'm just going to go with kind of a off white blue kind of like that. Now with the directional light selected, I'm going to rotate the Y axis just like this. And what I'm going for is these shadows just for extra depth. The further back this background is, the more parallax effect you're going to get when your camera's moving. So on the first frame here, we can select our camera and under transform, we can just keyframe all of these options. And we can come to the last frame and we can position our camera where we want it to end. As you can see, we have to make our background a lot bigger, just like that. Now with the camera selected, we're going to come to the spline, check on all these boxes, hover over everything and press S, and it's going to make the camera movement really smooth. Now back in the edit tab, you can drag the audio from the video underneath, just like this. I'm going to come to effects and add an adjustment clip on top of this. Now I'm going to come to the color page, right click, add node, corrector, and holding down shift, bring this in like that. And to this node, I'm going to add my favorite LUT on it. Let me know down below if you guys want my LUT and I'll uh, link it in the next video. Now on this node right here, I'm going to increase the orange temperature a little bit and I'm going to drag up the saturation. As you can see, we already have a pretty cinematic looking effect here. To go further, I'm going to add a zoom blur on this and drag up the center exclusion so that only the edges are a little bit blurry. And then I'm also going to search for a vignette and add that on and I'm going to drag up the size and the softness. One thing I just thought of that we could have done, added some particles on an image plane behind this, and that way you get like a 3D effect with particles behind the TV, that would be cool. Now, instead of repeating that process for the next 10 minutes, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I made this one because it's not that much different, even though it looks really cool. So all the assets to this one are also in the description. And so basically all these streets and buildings are just one asset, which is this one. So as you can see, if I drag this into the viewer, it's just one big asset. So when you drag this in, you just need to size it down really small, like 0 0.0000003, because it's a huge asset. But once you size it down and add in a camera, it's it already looks like this. I didn't do anything, right? And so from there, I just added in these thumbtack uh, 3D assets and changed the color to red, and that's why they are red in the viewer here. And so on the transform tab, I keyframed everything on the first frame, and then I'd go over 30 frames over, and I'd drag it down. And so now if you watch this screen, 
when we play that back, they just kind of float down and it makes a pretty cool effect. And so these things here are just a PNG of a grid. I downloaded it off Canva. You'll see it in the asset pack. And so as you can see, here they are. I just connected them to an image plane. And so on the transform tab, I just placed it. So it made kind of a wall and then I duplicated it and made a second wall. So as you can see, it creates kind of like a box. And then here is just a Honda Civic car. Again, this is in the asset pack. You just drag it in and connect it to the merge node and position it where you want it. As for the lighting, I only added two lights. I added an ambient light, which controls everything. As you can see, it's just a general brightness. And then I added a spotlight at a negative 80 degree angle. You can kind of play around with it to get a different look. See if I drag it back and forth and get different looks here. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to learn next.